So these are the first sounds the audience hears at the top of the show. I was so pleased to be asked by the Santa Fe Opera to be part of the partnership that created Revolution of Steve Jobs. And those initial conversations, the initial presentation of the music was really revelatory. And so it was great to work with the director, myself as the conductor, the librettist, and the composer on really trying to figure out how we would tell the story. And Mark had a very interesting perspective that as Steve is remembering all of these moments in his life, we would jump back and forth. And so that meant musically, we also had to be thinking about the characteristics of young Steve Jobs, young Steve Wozniak, um, and ill Steve Jobs at the end of his life, and how those manifestations occurred at different points of the opera. We have a pianist who presses keys at designated times in the score that triggers a discrete time frame of the electronic sounds. And the way we've set it up is that a sound might go anywhere from 10 seconds to a minute, but where we know that there are moments of flexibility needed, we've made those sound clips shorter so that the operator of that keyboard can slightly delay the next one or anticipate as we need. So we've tried to make it as foolproof as possible and still give a lot of flexibility. I don't want people to be afraid of the electronic elements, but rather view them as a signal for the proportions of where we are in Steve's memory of what's real and what's ethereal. So if people with everything that's going on can notice, oh, the, the electronics are very present, then you can imagine we're really just in Steve's head. And then as those other characters come in, you'll notice the dial gets turned down in different places and the orchestra comes up. And when we go back and forth with those, you'll hear all of a sudden a little electronic addition. And that is some flashback or some tether to his business world. But then the acoustic side, the orchestra, the chorus, is the tether to his humanity. I think people will be very fascinated by the different sound worlds because they live in the same level of sound. It's not like you're getting pounded by this electronic sound. It's all integrated. And I think people find that extra sound concept to be very compelling. <laughs>